about considering it was probably only up for about an hour and a half, maybe absolute maximum. But with that power, as someone described on, on, online, it's, it's like God mode. You know, they, they could have done anything with this power and they chose to do a, a quick smash and grab and earn a relatively small amount of money. Well, yeah, because thinking about it, they were asking for a thousand dollars worth of bitcoins, were they? E they, just, they just said, I think they just said, send me whatever and, and, I'll, and I'll double uh, your money back. OK, I thought there were specific amounts about ask, because then I was thinking, well, basically, uh, that's 150 people who've fallen for it. But if, so just take us through the whole Bitcoin thing. Remind us what it is. And if you, if you could or were inclined to um, donate this Bitcoin money for whatever reason, how, how do you do it when all you have is a plea from someone's Twitter account? Well, with, on all, all the on all the tweets that went out, they gave a number of different uh, Bitcoin wallets. These are addresses that you put into a Bitcoin exchange, and that is the the account of the hackers. So they did five or six different different uh, codes on these Bitcoin wallets. And the way that Bitcoin works is it's it's a cryptocurrency, a digital currency that's not real in terms of you can't hold it or anything like that. You just buy it on the internet. And it's very, very, very hard to trace. So it's often looked at by cyber criminals as their, their go-to currency. Because if, if I were to uh, see one of these tweets last night and think, oh, yeah, that sounds like a great deal, and I trust this person because it's Jeff Bezos, for example, I'm going to go onto my Bitcoin wallet on the Internet, and I'm going to type in their address, and I'm going to send some of my Bitcoin.